In chapter 8 of To Kill a Mockingbird, a harsh winter comes to make them, something the town is not accustomed to. Jem and Scout see snow for the first time, and school <laughs> is canceled. They spend their day making a snowman with mud and slush. The snow stops in the afternoon, but it keeps getting colder, so everyone leaves their fireplace on. Late that night, Scout is awakened by Atticus and ordered to dress and leave the house. She goes outside and sees Maudie Atkinson's house is on fire. Atticus tells Scout and Jem to wait in front of the Radley house. He and the other men go to help Miss Maudie and keep the fire from spreading. When they're finally able to subdue the fire, Miss Maudie's home is in ashes. They start to head home and Atticus notices a blanket around Scout's shoulders. He wonders where it came from, but neither Scout nor Jem know. They realize it must have been Boo Radley who put the blanket on her. When Atticus suggests wrapping up the blanket to return it, Jem refuses, as if their secrets were too much to keep hidden. Jem, distraught, frantically tells Atticus about all their misadventures at the Radley place. Atticus calms Jem down and agrees that the blanket story should stay between them. In the morning, Jem and Scout find Miss Maudie in her backyard amid the ruin. They're surprised to find she isn't grieving the loss of her belongings. She tells them she never really liked the house anyway and is already planning the next one she'll build in its place. When Scout looks confused as to why she isn't more upset, Miss Maudie explains that she was more worried about her neighbors than her belongings. By this chapter, Jem and Scout perceive Boo Radley differently. They no longer consider him to be the neighborhood monster, but instead, a human being. Instead of scary, they now think it's sad that he's so lonely and misunderstood. Although they still are uneasy with Boo, they begin to see him as someone who should be protected, not feared. This signifies an openness that will provide Jem and Scout with greater understanding later in the story. Though, as we'll see, this does not extend to the townspeople in Tom Robinson's case. Miss Maudie's reaction to the fire surprises Scout. She wonders why Miss Maudie is not more distraught. She was, she explains, more concerned for the neighborhood. Miss Maudie's kindness and selflessness foreshadow a source of strength the Finch family will need later in the book. <laughs>